This is Dr. Krauss, and I wanted to create a short video to illustrate how feedback can help a closed loop system be less sensitive to disturbances than an open loop system. In feedback controls textbooks, this is referred to as disturbance rejection. And so what I want to show, I've got a piece of wood with a black line painted down the center of it to serve as the path or the roadway for a track-driven robot. Um, and this robot is differential drive, so there's two motors, uh, one on each front tire, and when we send the same voltage to both motors, this thing should drive in a straight line, and if you want to turn it, you um, differentiate the voltage. So if one goes down and one goes up, we would turn in one direction or the other. And so what I've done is deliberately put a lean into this roadway so that I've kind of propped it up with some other blocks of wood so that the, in open loop we'll see the robot not surprisingly in the first video that I'll show veer off uh, because of the effect of gravity providing a kind of lateral pull on the robot and the open loop system has no way of sensing that pull and so it just keeps sending the same voltage to both motors and it veers off the road and then we'll come back and look at how feedback can change that in the second part so here is the open loop test. So this is the closed loop test and what's happening is the there's a reflectance array sensor on the front of the robot that can sense the position of the black line that's been painted down the center of the roadway. And so as the effect of gravity, that, later, that component that's lateral to the roadway tries to cause the robot to veer uh, down on your screen, the um, control system senses that in the position of the black line uh, with respect to the front of the robot and it will increase the voltage on the lower tire and decrease the voltage on the upper tire uh, to try to get this thing to drive straight with respect to the line. 